Hi dear students, welcome back to the competency on protein and amino acid metabolism and the video lecture on specialized products from glycine. This is Dr. Wilma. As per the new curriculum regarding the glycine metabolism, the specific learning objectives are enumerate the specialized products obtained from glycine and explain the functions of specialized products obtained from glycine. The simplest amino acid containing monoamino monocarboxylic acid group and an aliphatic side chain is glycine. Glycine is a non-essential or dispensable amino acid because it is synthesized within the body from serine and hydroxyl group containing amino acid by the removal of hydroxymethyl group from the side chain of serine and also it can be synthesized from another hydroxyl group containing amino acid that is threonine. Glycine is glucogenic because it forms a precursor for the formation of glucose. It is also an optically inactive amino acid because carbon atom is not attached to four different or distinct groups. Hence all the amino acids except glycine possess optical isomers due to the presence of asymmetric carbon atom. Glycine is actively involved in the synthesis of many specialized products such as the glycine is a constraint of various body tissue proteins, protein hormones, enzymes and collagen and formation of serine which is a non-essential amino acid and synthesis of glutathione which is a scavenger of free radicals and formation of creatine which in turn synthesizes creatinine and formation of heme the first step of heme synthesis requires glycine and formation of purine nucleotides and synthesis of conjugated bile acids and detoxification process requires glycine with the conjugation of benzoic acid with glycine converts the benzoic acid to hippuric acid and functions as a neurotransmitter in the brain stem as well as in the spinal cord and it also acts as a buffering agent. Let us discuss one by one. Glycine is the commonest amino acid found in protein structure. Being small and non-polar, it can be accommodated where the protein chains bends or turns sharply. Glycine is mostly present in the interior structure of the protein. Glycine is the smallest amino acid, hence it is found in every third position of the polypeptide chain of collagen. It fits into the restricted spaces where the three chains of the helix come together. Glycine residues are part of a repeating sequences like glycine X, Y, where X is frequently proline and Y could be hydroxyproline or hydroxylysine. An hydroxyl group containing amino acid, serine is synthesized from glycine, for which N5N10-methylene tetrahydrofolate and a molecule of water is required. The enzyme required is serine hydroxymethyl transferase so that hydroxymethyl group is transferred to serine in presence of the coenzyme pyridoxal phosphate. Glycine is reversibly converted to serine by tetrahydrofolate dependent serine hydroxymethyl transferase so that the serine in presence of the enzyme serine dehydrates gets converted into pyruvate. This pyruvate is a precursor for glucose hence glycine is glucogenic. The tripeptide of gamma glutamide cystinyl glycine is glutathione. There are two steps which are involved in synthesis of glutathione and three amino acids are required. In the first step, cysteine and glutamate condenses in presence of ATP, hence the name 
gamma glutamyl cysteine synthetase is required to form gamma glutamyl cysteine in the second step another synthetase that is glutathione synthetase in presence of atp and a molecule of glycine gets converted into gamma glutamyl cysteinyl glycine which is known as glutathione glutathione is present in the rbc's this is used for inactivation of free radicals formed inside the rbc's in this slide we can see the reduced glutathione reacting with hydrogen peroxide which is a free radical in presence of the enzyme glutathione peroxidase which is selenium dependent so that hydrogen peroxide gets converted into water and the reduced glutathione getting converted into oxidized glutathione this oxidized glutathione in turn is reduced by the enzyme glutathione reductase in presence of NADPH this NADPH is generated with the help of glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme in hmp shunt pathway therefore in glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency the rbcs are liable to lysis especially when oxidizing agents are administered as in case of drug induced hemolytic anemia the synthesis of creatine requires three important amino acids they are glycine arginine and methionine the first step of creatine synthesis takes place in the mitochondria of the kidney in the first step the arginine and glycine reacts in presence of the enzyme amidinotransferase or arginine glycine transamidinase so that the guanidino group of arginine is transferred to glycine so that arnithine is released and there is a formation of guanidino acetic acid the second step of creatine synthesis is taking place in the liver here the guanidino acetate formed from the two amino acids arginine and glycine gets converted into creatine in presence of the enzyme methyl transferase the third amino acid required for creatine synthesis is methionine the active form of methionine is s adenosyl methionine nothing but sam s adenosyl methionine donates methyl group to guanidino acetate so that s adenosyl methionine gets converted into s adenosyl homocysteine and guanidino acetate to creatine creatine enters into the circulation and enters the tissues like muscle in the muscle the creatine gets converted into creatine phosphate in presence of the enzyme creatine kinase and atp is required here creatine phosphate is the store of high energy phosphate in muscle so the amount of phosphocreatine present in the muscle is directly proportional to the muscle mass the creatine phosphate undergoes dephosphorylation which is a non enzymatic reaction so that creatine phosphate can be converted into creatinin the creatine also can be converted into creatinin which is again non enzymatic reaction irreversible reaction where a molecule of water is removed from creatine to form creatinin so the anhydrous form of creatine is creatinin which is non enzymatic reaction the creatine phosphate conversion to creatine is known as lohmann's reaction in which when all the atps are utilized for the muscle contraction the atp is regenerated by the hydrolysis of creatine phosphate so that this atp is utilized for muscle contraction which is known as lohmann's reaction so the conversion of creatine phosphate to creatine is known as lohmann's reaction and the conversion of creatine to creatinine 
and creatine phosphate to creatinine are non enzymatic reactions and irreversible reactions the biological reference interval of serum creatine is 0.2 to 0.4 mg per deciliter and urine contains negligible amounts of creatine in healthy individuals but in case of muscular dystrophy the blood creatine level increases the creatinine which is obtained either from creatine or from creatine phosphate by non enzymatic reaction is directly proportional to the muscle mass the plasma and urine levels of creatinine is utilized for creatinine clearance calculation the biological reference intervals of creatinine clearance in case of males it is 85 to 125 ml per minute and females it is 80 to 115 ml per minute normally creatinine is excreted in urine about 1 to 2 grams per day and creatinine is an index of renal function because the creatinine which is used for creatinine clearance is an endogenous product it is not dependent on protein intake it is neither absorbed nor secreted by the renal tubules and elevated levels of creatinine in blood is an early indicator of impairment of kidney function increased creatinine clearance is seen in case of muscular dystrophy and hypercatabolic states but decreased creatinine clearance is found in advanced renal failure glycine is a precursor for synthesis of heme in presence of the enzyme ala synthase that is delta amino lavulinic acid synthase glycine condenses with succinyl coa to form delta amino lavulinic acid which is the first step in heme synthesis this ala synthase is a key enzyme of heme synthesis the whole molecule of glycine is incorporated into the purine ring at c4 c5 and n7 conjugated bile acids are required for the synthesis of bile salts these conjugated bile acids are obtained by the conjugation reaction of glycine with the bile acids cholic acid and chenodeoxycholic acid to form glycocholic acid from cholic acid and glycokino deoxycholic acid from keno deoxycholic acid which are the conjugated bile acids benzoylglycine which is nothing but hippuric acid is obtained by the conjugation reaction of glycine with benzoic acid benzoic acid is used as a preservative in foods and glycine is used for detoxification of benzoic acid this reaction takes place in the liver hence this conjugation reaction can be used as an index of liver function glycine acts as a neurotransmitter in brain stem and spinal cord it acts by opening the chloride specific channels in moderate levels glycine acts as a inhibitory neurotransmitter but at the high levels it causes over excitation glycine is used in the preparation of buffers in certain techniques like electrophoresis western blotting and removal of labeled antibodies it's also used in the irrigation of bladder after removal of the prostate and as a buffering agent in analgesics and cosmetics thank you all my dear students for viewing this video please don't forget to like and subscribe it